In this example, we're going to concern ourselves with fluid pressure and force. So let's begin. Determine the force as a result of water pressure exerted on an aquarium window whose top is one meter from the surface of the water. So we have the surface of the water, the distance from the water to the top of the window is one meter, the height of the window is three meters, so the distance from the water surface to the bottom of the window is one plus three, four meters, and the length of our window is also four meters. Now, assuming the density of the fluid is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, how exactly are we going to find the perpendicular force felt by this area, by the window, due to the water's pressure? So one approach to solving this problem is by using calculus. In other words, we essentially divide this entire window into strips of infinitely small thickness dy and length of 4 meters. Then we calculate the individual force felt along this strip and then we continue that. We sum up all the individual strips and that will give us the entire force as felt by the entire window. So, let's begin. Once again, we divide our window into strips of infinitely small thickness dy. So, one such division is shown here. So, let's try to calculate what the force felt along this strip is, assuming the distance from the surface of the water to this strip is y. Well, because we're dealing with an infinitely small strip, the force felt will also be infinitely small. So df is equal to, well, force is equal to pressure times area. So that means df is equal to pressure times dA. Now, what exactly is dA? Well, in this case, the area of this strip is simply the length of the strip multiplied by dy. So dA becomes L multiplied by dy, and L is a constant because it's given to be 4 meters. Now, what exactly is pressure? Well, pressure is equal to our density times our gravitational constant, G times Y. So all of these values are constants, except our Y. Our Y varies with respect to which strip we choose. So, for example, if we choose a strip somewhere below here, that means the y will be different. So, now we have the following result. The infinitely small force is equal to our density times the gravitational constant g times the distance y from the surface of the water to where the strip is multiplied by L, our length of the strip multiplied by our infinitely small thickness dy. So this is the force felt along the horizontal strip, along this horizontal strip. So now what we want to do is we want to begin with the strip on this portion and go all the way down and find all the forces along all the strips all the way down to the bottom. So the way we do that is we simply integrate beginning at this position and ending at this position. So this position is 1 meter below the surface and this position is 4 meters below the surface. So that means our initial point is 1 meter, our, four, our final point is 4 meters. So we simply take the integral of df, which is the same thing as this entire value, so we take this formula and place it here. So now we take the integral and notice that our y becomes y squared divided by 2. So we get 1 half our density times g times l times y squared from 1 to 4. So we actually plug in our value for the density of 1000, our g is 9.8, our l is 4 meters, and these two quantities differ. So one is 4 meters squared and the other one is 1 meter squared. So we calculate this and we get that the force, the perpendicular force that this entire window feels due to the pressure of the water is 2.94 times 10 to the 5 newtons per meter squared.